bright star, would I were steadfast as thou art, not in lone splendor hung aloft the night, and watching with eternal lids apart, like nature's patient, sleepless eremite. The moving waters at their priest-like task When you hear the opening sentence, bright star, if I were steadfast as thou art, that's something that I think everyone can relate to, um, the imagination of, of being a star um, and what that entails. And uh, I think it's a beautiful picture that he paints uh, because, of course, at the end it's not about the star, but it's about his love. So uh, it's a beautiful analogy that he paints with the star and, uh, and his love. Of pure ablution round Earth's human shores, or gazing on the new soft fallen mask of snow upon the mountains and the moors. No, yet still steadfast, still unchangeable, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast, to feel forever its soft fall and swell, awake forever in a sweet unrest, still, still to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever, or else swoon to death. Well, this is a poem that you would read to someone you love, whether it's your partner or, or someone you have just fallen in love with, or maybe even family members, your father, your mother, um, because it's about the, the unchangeable nature of this love that is not um, changed by anything that might come across your, your path. And uh, so that's, that's who you would read it to. I do enjoy reading poems a lot, actually. Um, I have a few, that, uh, a few um, poem books that I like to carry with me. That is a very different experience from reading a novel, for example. Um, which also means that you need to be in the right mood, in the right setting to read a poem. You can't just do it, you know, in between. Uh, so you need to have calm and uh, and uh, easy environment to do so. Well, I don't think it's necessarily difficult to understand. It's just a question of whether you have the 10, 15 minutes of time that you would need to devote to just get a feeling for what it's about. Because as with a piece of music, you might just need a tiny bit of time to get into it to um, understand the flow of it. And um, I think that's, that's uh, yeah, what music and, and poems have in common. Yeah, then again, they're very close in nature. So uh, I think a poem can very well be inspired by a piece of music and the other way around also.